With coronavirus oh, deaths surging in New York, the governor announced Friday he will use his authority to seize ventilators, the most aggressive steps yet in the U.S. to relieve severe shortages of equipment needed to fight the scourge. Ashley Laotis has more on what's being done today. In the past 24 hours, 562 people have died from coronavirus in New York. That's roughly 23 people per hour over the course of the last day. It's the largest jump in any 24 hour period since the coronavirus started. Across the board, with social distancing in full effect, hospitals are seeing less trauma patients, think crimes and car accidents, and more COVID-19 patients. So a few changes have been made. Originally, the Javits Center in Manhattan was planning to take backfill of hospitals to free up more beds. Well, as it turns out, Governor Andrew Cuomo says the state doesn't have many non-COVID-19 patients. So that 2,500 bed facility will be COVID-19 patients only moving forward. PPE and ventilators remain in short supply. So now the governor says he will take aggressive action to get what the state needs. So I'm going to sign an executive order that says the state can take ventilators and PPE from institutions that don't need them now and redeploy them to other parts of the state and other hospitals that do need them. Those institutions will either get their ventilator back or they will be reimbursed and paid for their ventilator so they can buy a new ventilator. I can't do anything more than that, but I'm not going to be in a position where people are dying and we have uh, several hundred ventilators in our own state somewhere else. When it comes to hospitals, sometimes it's hard for people to visualize exactly what's going on inside of them. We hear PPE is short and no healthcare workers are on those front lines. But now, in a rare glimpse behind those doors, a doctor at Mount Sinai in Queens takes us into the hospital with him. Hi, my name is Matthew Bai. I'm an attending physician at the Mount Sinai Queens Hospital in the emergency department. Um, I'm about to start my shift. It's just before seven o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, last night before I went to bed, uh, we had over 60 patients uh, waiting for a hospital bed in our emergency department uh, with COVID-19. This right here is my N95 mask that I will be wearing for the whole day throughout my shift. Um, it's a little hard to breathe, but it stays on the whole day to protect us from any airborne particles. This is our ED. You can see all the rooms are filled. Usually these halls are very neat and empty. And now you can see there's patients everywhere because of this. It makes it very hard to work and we're trying our best to treat everyone that we can. And a bit of good news coming down on Friday for people who may have lost their jobs throughout this whole outbreak. New York City announced that three free meals per day will be provided to New York City residents. No one will be turned away. Reporting in Manhattan for the Black News Channel, I'm Ashley Otis.